All right, welcome back. Episode three of the, what is it? Crack Pack three? Oh. We've been playing this for like an hour or two and we have already forgotten its name. All right, but a few things get off the to-do list. Some strong boxes. So now we can actually start moving some stuff. I do need to make the wrench, which is unfortunately gonna cost us some iron at this point. But now we have the ability to move stuff around easily. We're just like, oh, cool. Um, that's weird. Let's uh, take that off, I guess. So now we just pick things up and move them when we need to. And also they sit next to each other, which is something these chests don't do too well. Um, there are upgrades to these. Um, if I can type in the right lot numbers, they're called upgrade kits. Unfortunately for the first tier, I'm going to need some invar again and some bronze. Uh, bronze is just, I believe, copper and 10, three copper to 110. Somewhere in here, there's, yeah, right here, copper to 10. I think you could do ingots and dust. Yeah. So we'll need a induction smelter at some point too. I think you can also do just dust regularly, but that's fine for what we need right now. So now when we go mining or anything like that, we just place these down, fill in the box, and we're good to go. Um, another thing I could do is like put all my resources in here. Uh, keep the coal out. Yeah, we'll leave some coal in there. Uh, we'll keep one on us. We'll try to upgrade the one we have right now. I try to put that in. Just upgrading it in, in particularly. Um, trying to think what else we might not need. Uh, one thing I did really, really, really want to get is a some wood. And that means going over into those like dark area. Because I noticed a lot of oak. So we're going to try our luck out on this one. Right, we go ahead and turn off the light overlay. Yeah, there's a lot of oak and stuff up here. Don't think there's any enemies. I'm... I mean... I'm not for certain. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright, what, what did that give me? A, a dread sapling? And a maple sapling. Fascinating. This must... I want to go ahead and say it's a biomes of plenty one, but I'm not for certain. Alright, but... Yeah, we're not getting any of the things we want, are we? Alright, I need to actually go make an axe. At this point. This is just getting silly now that we don't have... Anything to chop down the trees with. All right, so we can go ahead and make that out of just big, sick cobblestone. We'll need some wood, which luckily we just went and got some. And we got ourselves a nice little ax. Cool. I feel like if we go over to one of those spruce biomes, we'll be good. Also, I think the um, evil remnant thing over here. Yeah, it's just a squid. Let's jump this down real quick. Yeah, it's somewhere over here. I did go up to there last time. Might be way or way more up on the hill. Much further up there. All right. We are getting to more like dead tree area. It's actually terrifying. It was next to cobblestone. Some runes over there on the left. There's another one of those things. Man, we're just not having luck. It might be one of those things where it might not spawn during the day, but do I really want to take my chance with that? Silty grass block. Fascinating. Um, and I do not believe. 
Yeah, there is no mining gadgets. There was a mining dimension I saw, but I believe he made that more expensive. Or maybe not. Apparently it's still as cheap as it ever has been. All right, maybe we can go ahead and actually set one of those up because I, since I'm gonna be clearing out a lot of this area, I think around and clear all those broken blocks out at some point. Yeah, if we make a mining dimension, I don't think we'll be completely safe in there. I do believe that there's going to be monsters. We still have one piece of iron. Or not used all of them. Let's do three. Right, flint and steel. Which really uh, favorited it. Flint and steel, stone pickaxe, some stone brick. Yeah, that would be mostly good. All right, that, that, stone bricks, and I believe a stick, was it? Yep. Plus everything else we need. Mm, nice. All right, so that should give us the stone bricks we need. At least two of them. Um, I don't think we have any more sticks so we're gonna have to use for this maple. I am still not used to Minecraft's uh, dragging ability, am I? All right, there's the mining tool. We can go ahead and make, I believe, 10 of these. So we got two on the bottom. Uh, we'll unfortunately need to wait for the stone to cook a little bit quicker. I'm just checking out some of this stuff. Seven creatures. I do want to get back to Electro Bob's Wizard. Because I know there's a lot of fun spells in there that I can do. All right, so we're six out of how many ever we need. Um, I guess we can just put it in here for right now. I don't think it was that bad to move. Another thing we need to look at is food. So I believe vanilla food was the only thing that got nerfed. All right, one, two, three, four, four more. As soon as the stone is done cooking, Beautiful. All right. Just take that. Multi-tool done. I'm not going to jump in here yet. I'm not actually going to light it either. I need to get some food first. Because we are really, really starving here for food. I have so many of these seeds that I don't... I guess I can make trail mix out of them and stuff. You don't say. Um... Cooking oil I can use. Um, you know, well, it's just decoration. I think really seed soup is the best thing I can make out of these, which I need stock. Which apparently I can use meat, lettuce. I need a pot to make stock. Uh, I can just make seed soup with the same pot. Cool. All right, so I need that. I guess I'll just use the raw meat now. I need bricks. Well. Okay. I guess why don't I go up there, I'll go plant some of these. Plant some sugar cane. Don't really feel like planting those. I can plant the cucumber. Okay, now that we have a good idea of what we want to cook, or use to cook, um, that's actually my food. Just don't need those in my inventory at the moment. I could run and drop some water down. Um. I'm only going to do two for reasons. All right. 
So we got some other stuff growing. Go ahead and uh, go with some sugar cane here. This one shouldn't actually be here. That one shouldn't be there. All right, and that more or less gets us started with some food, some basic food. I guess we can break some of these. Fun fact, if you shift and break one, you actually get the plant itself, so you don't actually have to fill up your inventory with crazy stuff. You can go back, just place it whenever you need it, break it. Ooh, onion. Don't mind if I do. The onions, carrots. So we have some corn growing, strawberries. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I spoil myself here. And another cucumber, which I think was over here. Yep. Nice. Um, yep, I don't think so. I'll show you how easy these things are to actually break. And boop. I think they are. Yeah, they're just popping up along the coast as it goes. Really, really annoying, actually. I might have to look into that. Get it fixed or something. Just gonna get rid of it at least. Make it better for what it is. I think this is oil actually over here. So maybe we can actually use some of this oil for something. Yeah, it looks like oil. Sure enough it is. All right. So we know where some oil is. That's always really decent because we need that for fuel for a rocket ship. Um, we are starting to look pretty hungry here. Our chocobo food here is uh, not doing a good job filling up our stomach. I don't think the compo composter's in yet. I feel like that was an update with the villagers. Organic compost. Um, I feel like I actually need that certain type of wood. Uh, that's awkward. Oh, well. Well, don't worry about that. That's just the later in the versions kind of thing. It's definitely awkward trying to switch between the two. Um, I don't think anything spawned up here. A shield might be in our um, favorite thing here to get. Oh, we have a lot of shields, actually. There's ones that give me better attack damage. That's just a regular Minecraft shield. Those ones, I think I have to find a dungeon chest. And you got special ones, like bamboo. Ooh. Regular Ender IO's shield. A dark shield. Ooh. Fancy. All right. Anything else grown here? Oh, I want to see if the right click harvest thing. Watering can, actually. There are watering cans, but I do believe. Oh, it's actually quite cheap. Minus the iron part. We haven't actually gotten mining yet. Uh, yes, we're actually uh, too low on iron to actually pick up anything. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and drop that in here. Let's go get some iron real quick. Um, not actually sure where I should start looking, but yeah, we found some copper. So we're off to a pretty decent start on finding resources that we need. I think copper might be on the to-do list. Found a cave. It's quite uh, nice. Some iron. Normally I like to cave rush, but since I don't have a shield, I'm not really gonna rush. Right, this I was eyeballing as I walked in. Things are going to want to swim up it and maybe swim down it. I don't 
just keeps becoming more and more of a mess, isn't it? There we go. Perfect. So we got ourselves a nice clean, well, majority clean anyway. Um, trying to make sure nothing can jump up on here. Don't want to get attacked by a monster while I'm mining. Which means the majority of people don't want that to happen to them. It also looks like we could go ahead and repair our pickaxe again. Because it is quite damaged. All right. There was also some coal, a little bit more iron. Ooh, I almost missed out on some tin up here. Don't mind if I do. Quite a lot of it, actually. Both of iron and other resources. Kind of fill in the holes here. This is a little bit less for it to mine out, I guess you could say. I do want to do like a cylinder at some places, and then do like um, an actual circle and others. Just so I don't have to worry about, um, I look at two square in the city. All right, so we got some more resources. Um, one of them I did need to get was clay. I've never actually got it yet. All right, let's see if we can't snag some clay over here. This will probably light up our food. Here, clay. Where are you? There's some, uh, what is it called? Ah, I forgot what it's called. No, oh, aquamarine. All right, not entirely what we're looking for here. I'm worried we not not actually find any clay or that was some down there. Just a little scared to get close to those because I know they got some really wickedly good range. There we go. There's a little bit of clay. Let's get out of here. Before I feel like I'm getting chased by something. And pick up some more of these. Don't know what they actually do. Could also probably lead our bird back. I don't actually know what the difference is between any of these types of birds or what they even need. I should probably get some leather from somewhere. And uh, go ahead and turn it into a book. Sorry if I seemed a little bit lost. I was actually trying to look around for a cow. Might find some cows in the mining dimension if I'm lucky. All right, so we got some clay. Actually gonna go ahead and cook up eight. Oh, that's not coal. Because I just currently want to um, finish up the process. Smelting. Well, using up all the coal itself. Could throw three other items if I'm quick enough. All right, and more seeds for our stock stew. Yum, yum. There's also an artichoke. Clay away. Also stone. I'll need that at some point, I'm more than sure. I should put the ores in here. Yeah, what's up? Do not believe it actually matters where they go. All right, no, a couple more sticks, please. Just get us our pot. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab out these seeds and to make the seed soup. Actually, to make the stock, we need, it looks like any type of meat, any type of vegetable. Um, I don't know if any of this stuff will help. I think artichoke will. All right. 
then I wanted to grab the meat because I know that makes it. Got some stock. So wheat does not. Bay leaves don't. This plus stock, that will give us some seed soup. Yum, yum. All right. So all we need now is A, some more meat or, you can't actually turn this into it, can you? No. Turn it to seeds or pickled, I guess. All right. I think that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. So we actually got ourselves some food. That's quite wonderful. Um, we're definitely missing out on getting something to eat. So now, next episode, we can jump right into the mining dimension and see whether or not it's going to be a good place to mine or, or if it's just going to be kind of like the overworld. I'd hope it's different, but I'll have to find out next time. So, all right. well, see you in the next episode of Crack Pack 3.